Hello YouTube. So as promised, today we're going to be uh, starting with this journey into PCPs. So for day one, we're going to be looking at uh, charging up this uh, PCP rifle. So currently, I've shot about half a mag, and if you look there, you'll see that the pressure is still uh, pretty much full. So currently, I'm getting about 21 shots. Um, before I fill it, I could probably go up to about 25 shots, but uh, I'll explain all of that now. No. First, I've got seven ducks that I need to shoot down there, so let's shoot those ducks and then we'll get to charging up this PCP. So basically taken 21 shots now and uh, if you look now you'll see that pressure gauge is down to underneath 150 bar uh, probably sitting on about 100 and between 120 130 bar so let's go and uh, see how we're going to fill this up and then I'm going to give you some reasons why I'm shooting this amount and uh, how that relates to filling up. Let's go get cracking. All right, so let's uh, explain how we're going to be filling our PCP. So what I'm using is this pump. Obviously, you can also use a scuba diving tank or something along those lines, or even a compressor, but it's going to cost you probably double, if not triple, what a decent pump will cost you. So if you look at this pump, it's basically a high pressure pump. Just got this piece that's moving up and down and that's putting our pressure for us then uh, just a little gauge here in front shows or basically should correspond with our uh, um, gauge on the gun and then just a hose with a little filter in here and it usually gets filters that comes with it and then a little quick coupler on the end one thing you want to notice on this quick coupler you'll see there's uh, approximately six little um, BB balls inside there so the more balls you have the better just uh, means you get more secure fit to your fitting that you have here just some quick tips in terms of maintenance on your pump so with your pump you're going to probably get a little oil like this it's just a very thin uh, oil uh, machine oil basically even sewing machine oil will work as well so what you want to do just put a couple of drops on this surface here um, so that when you're pumping it just reduces the friction a little bit and then what you can also do is up top here where your handle is you can actually unscrew it and there's a small little um, rod that fits inside here which you can also then uh, put some drops of lubrication on there and then once a month change out this filter that's inside here all right so there you have it if you want to test your pump, very simple, you'll see it comes with a little plug. So this plug just clips into your quick coupler, like so. Then pump it up, you'll see on your gauge it will start to pick up pressure and then you want it to stay like that without losing pressure. And then to relieve the pressure in the line, you're just going to open up here at the back and then your pressure is relieved. So that's how you can test it. Uh, I'm not going to show you now how to test it, we're going to pump up the rifle now. What I'm going to use is this little adapter that comes with your rifle. So this fits into your filling port of the rifle and also just clips in to our quick coupler. We're also just going to put a dab of oil on these o-rings just to protect it going in and out of the gun. Alright, so I'm going to show you now how I pump up my rifle and uh, I'm also going to show you in real time so that you can see how long it takes to pump it up and then also what I want you to notice is that uh, if you keep your pressures between a certain range it actually doesn't take you much effort at all to pump up your gun so as you saw earlier mine was around about 120 bar I'm going to pump it up to 190 bar uh, 
the maximum is 200 bar and uh, I'm going to show you how we do that. Let's get going. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit difficult to film but I'm going to try it. Alright, so here you can see, here's the gun. Uh, you can see the pressure down, about 120 bar. What we're going to do, just put down something soft just to rest the gun on. Don't want to scratch it unnecessary. And then here, you can actually see the filler port. If you look inside there, you'll see there's a tiny, tiny little hole there. And that's how you're filling it up. So just make sure that that's clean before you put in the pump. Put it in. Just slides in nice and easy. Rest the gun there. And then let's pump it up. I'm going to pump it up to 190 bar. And uh, you'll see this is really not going to take long at all. Alright, so once you're done pumping, you can just release here at the back, pull this out, there you go, gun back up where it should be, going to be able to shoot easily another three and a half magazines from this. Alright, so as you saw, about 45 pumps to fill it up, really not that long. I'll go back and check the video, what was the time period it took. If it took 3 minutes, I think that's a long time. I don't even think it took that long. So not that much effort. One thing I did forget to mention, always remember that your gun is on safety when you're busy pumping it up. Very important, we don't want to have any um, unnecessary shots being fired there. Then. The other thing that I wanted to just bring to your attention, and one of the reasons I bought this, a lot of guys have mentioned the Air Avenger, um, which is also a very, very nice uh, entry-level PCP, and also comes with the pump already. But if you notice, this is goes to uh, 200 bar max. Um, this is a 160cc tank that's in here. The Air Avenger has a 180cc tank, but it runs off 250 bar so always remember the higher the pressure the more effort you're going to need to be able to pump it so that's why i say rather go for something uh, that's got a little bit lower pressure the the size of the the reservoir um, that you can it's just going to determine the number of shots you got obviously if you've got a sub 12 foot um, Artemis PR900 or Diana Storm Rider, you're going to get more shots um, for that air than what you're going to get with the full powered rifle like this one. So yeah, uh, there's a bit of a playoff between power and uh, number of shots, but definitely, as you could see, not that much effort to pump it up, not very complicated at all, and at the end of the day, it's not, it's not costing you anything. Once you've got the pump, that little bit of maintenance on the pump costs you next to nothing. So I've uh, got my, my youngster with me. We're going to take a couple of shots now. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. Definitely 
nice rifle, easy to pump up, getting about 21 shots um, is what I'm using. I could probably get about 25 shots before I start to see a drop in the trajectory. So definitely, because it's unregulated, you've got to find that sweet spot. First couple of shots, that's why I also only pump it up to 190 bar. Between 200 and 190 bar, the, the, the shots are still a little bit on the up upward curve of the trajectory. So if you cut out that first 10 bar and just use 190 to 120 bar, you're going to get around about 25 shots, full power shots, uh, and then you can pump it up again. So I use 20, 21 shots, then I can count with the magazines how many shots I'm using. So yeah, that's it. If you want to get into PCPs, definitely consider something with a little bit lower pressure. Uh, if you're going to pump with a hand pump, if you're going to be using a scuba tank or a compressor then by all means go for something uh, with a higher pressure. I know Umarex also has a nice, I think it's Umarex Origin, also has a nice uh, entry level PCP that comes with the pump as well. Um, but I think that one's also about 250 bar, so that one you're definitely going to need to put some effort in. But uh, with this little guy and uh, with the hand pump you definitely don't need to cancel your gym contract. Uh, you're still going to need that because not that much effort to pump her up. So yeah, let's get shooting and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Duck. Ducks down there. Did you already shoot them? No, we're going to shoot them now. Okay. Alright, so this is my youngest, Caden. Uh, I'm going to take some shots. We're about 20 meters now. I'm going to flip this camera around and show you guys down there. Okay, Caden, seven shots, eh? Okay, let's just take it off safety. So that's it from us here today. Uh, we're going to be shooting a little bit more, uh, probably another couple of rounds, and maybe pump it up once more times and uh, take some more shots. But enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.